So, uh, let's talk about classification first. And in classification, uh, we have some basic building blocks. We're going to take those building blocks and build a bunch of different uh, accuracy measures out of those blocks. So suppose that this is my uh, testing set. So this is the, the, the set of all the instances which I'm going to be classifying. Uh, this is a subset that my system predicts are positive. So this is all the emails that my system thinks are spam, for example. Uh, this is the set of emails that are really spam. That, that's the truth. So the humans looked at the, the humans looked at the entire gray set and they said this green set is really spam and everything outside of it is really not spam. Um, and then you start looking at the intersections of these sets, right? So the intersection of the uh, of what my system predicts as positive and what is really positive, that's known as true positive. So my system says it's positive and it's correct. It's true. Not true positives. Uh, false positives, that's the things that my system thinks are positive, but they're really not. So they're really negatives, they're, they're, they're not part of the green, uh, but my system says they're positives, so they're false positives. False negatives is a flip side of that. They're really positives, but my system thought that they were negative. So my system said these are ham emails, but in fact they're really spam. So these are false negatives. And the gray area outside is the true negative. So that's where my system says, no, they're not spam, and the truth, the humans say, no, they're not spam either. So, um, so there we agree. Uh, you can show it as a Venn diagram. You can also draw it as a confusion matrix, and that's something that you get uh, in the Weka output. Uh, so for two classes, uh, it would have two rows and two columns. The rows correspond to the truth. So uh, everything in this row is really spam, positive, everything in this row is really negative, non-spam. Uh, the columns correspond to our system predictions. So the first column is everything that our system thinks is positive, and that's everything that our system thinks is negative. And you have those four subsets uh, in, the, uh, in the confusion matrix. Now the good things, the correct classifications, the true positives and the true negatives, they're going to be on the diagonal, and the errors of the two kinds, the false positives and false negatives, they're going to be off the diagonal. So when you're looking at a classific, uh, when you're looking at a confusion matrix, you want to have big numbers on the diagonal and small numbers off the diagonal. Uh, it looks like this for a binary uh, classification where you have only two classes. When you have multiple classes, uh, say say you have ten digits, this is going to have ten rows and ten columns. But the same intuition applies. The uh, diagonal corresponds to uh, correct classification, so you want big numbers on the diagonal, and everything off the diagonal is uh, a mistake of some, of some sort. So uh, these, these four numbers, the true positives, the false positives, the true negatives, and the false negatives, they are the building blocks, and now we're going to build a bunch of different metrics, evaluation measures, out of, uh, their, uh, out of these uh, building blocks.